this is Militant for the PlayStation 4. It's not a bad game really, it's a twin stick shooter. Your loadouts for the weapons are interesting as you go along. As it is a kind of frustrating game at times. Well, I'll show you soon. But, uh, it, it's not bad for a, a kind of like a two and a half D shooter, really. You know, well, it's almost three D, but it's not quite, not quite there, is it? The visuals are, are pretty. But they're going to be for a next gen game. It's kind of immersive with the insect world, and there's a lot of. A lot of uh, kind of rip off of uh, ants here, and uh, you know, Bugs Life. It kind of has that kind of feel about it, you know. Especially with when you meet the bad guys, you think, "Oh, I've never seen that guy before." But I guess if you're doing a scrolling shooter uh, in a ant world, then you're going to go into that grey area, really, aren't you? And it's going to be compared to things like Bugs Life and ants, and all the other insect movies we've seen. You know, it's just one of those things. You're going to be called rip off, but it. You know, it, it is what it is. It's a battle game. It's a uh, pretty fast with a huge variety of enemies. That's the good thing about it. Really good boss battles that are kind of kind of impressive. The ones I've seen anyway, the ones I've done myself. Uh, it's kind of kind of unforgiving, really, because you do get your ass kicked and you will die a lot in this game. It's got a nice curve of difficulty to it, but sometimes it just pisses you off because it's the uh, targeting system really pisses well fucking hell really annoys me in fact after the second level I'd had enough I just didn't feel like playing it anymore it just kind of killed the fun taking on the uh, first uh, cockroach bad guy was a chore until I found out how to just defeat him properly by just jumping around and hitting him in the face with a little machine gun or whatever it was but it took me a while to work out and it was frustrating because my uh, my aim was all over the place, you know, and I thought, shit, maybe I'm just bad at the game. I probably was right, but it was me being bad at the game. But no, it was the targeting system. It's just flawed. The weapons in the game they're interesting enough, but the first three weapons that you're given they're kind of weak to to take down the enemies, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But hey, you know, you can't have it your own way and have it easy. Just breeze through it. I understand that. The art design is pretty good. I like it. The enemy variations, as I said, tons of enemies. Uh, the guys who come uh, front and back to kill you, they're alright. You know, the, it's kind of the same old uh, Contra uh, premise, isn't it? You know, it feels like Contra. When you're playing a game like this, you want it to be, you know, fun. And it, it's not bad, really, when you're having fun with this game. But unfortunately, it, it's just the damn targeting system that really shits it up for the game really and it needs to be patched if possible the um, the in-game action is pretty good you know there's plenty to do but there seems to be a hell of a lot going on you're thinking what the hell's going on here you got bad guys in the air little dangly bad guys you know you got bad guys on your side from behind and the front and you try to lock on to these four different directions with your gun and you're getting your ass kicked and it's frustrating because you can't really lock onto the next uh, bad guy in the way you want to because you'll end up locking onto the wrong person and then dying it is a pain in the bum you, if you get the flamethrower and the rocket launcher it, it, the, the game just kick ass but they have a cooldown timer so you got to be careful when you're wiping out the enemies and how many you take on because if you take on too many with a weapon that has a cooldown on it, then uh, you can find yourself getting killed very, very quickly. But it's it's a good game. The jumping can be a bit frustrating when you try and jump on, into an enemy. When you're taking on a group of enemies, you can lose track of who you're actually shooting at, and the enemy just spawn everywhere. You know, you can be standing, taking someone down, and another enemy will just spawn right on you. <laughs> it's crazy. Even the jumping doesn't always work, it's kind of hit and miss with me. Anyway, check the game out, but I'd pass.